Well, police in London have also been accused of excessive force in their efforts to clear out Occupy demonstrators. Protesters stood together last night as officers broke down the doors to their camps. Artist Laura Smith now joins us live from, from London for more details on this. Uh, Laura, so the Occupy movement, that was supposed to really fade away, according to many, at the end of 2011. However, it continues to, to go on. America's West Coast, now in England. Uh, what's been happening where you are? Well, uh, what we've seen in the last 24 hours is the first eviction of the Occupy movement uh, from a building that they were calling the Bank of Ideas. It was a building that is owned by uh, UBS, the bank, uh, and it was evicted by a group of bailiffs uh, who are very uh, known in this country for taking part in these evictions, particularly when it concerns private property. Anyone who's been up a ba against a bailiff in this country would call them hired thugs, basically. Uh, they're hired by private companies to, to get rid of people out of uh, out of their own property and what you see on the video that we're showing now is a bailiff uh, essentially driving uh, into a group of protesters watched on by the police basically uh, he allegedly before this incident took place punched a photographer in the face and let's just watch what's happening here the cars surrounded by protesters he then drives into them and uh, carrying one of the protesters on the bonnet of his car uh, for about uh, sort of a hundred 150 meters as he drives off down the street the police are looking on and doing apparently nothing. You can see it in slow motion here. If you watch carefully, you can see uh, that that protester being carried off on the bonnet of the car while uh, media and other protesters just look on, unable to do anything. Uh, the police apparently did nothing apart from uh, briefly confiscate the keys, the car keys of the bailiff in question. Uh, they then gave back his car keys, according to the Occupy movement, and then cleared the way for him to leave the scene. Now, the Occupy protesters who remain and they do still remain around St Paul's Cathedral where they were originally. Uh, they want to know why the police protected uh, what is apparently a violent aggressor whose actions have been caught on camera and also why the police think it's more important to protect a building uh, than it is to protect uh, the people who are, uh, who are supposed to be under their care. Uh, when I spoke to the Occupy movement just shortly before coming into the studio, their spokesman said to me that uh, so far they've received absolutely no response from the police uh, to this incident at all. All right, Artie's uh, Laura Smith there, uh, live in London. Thank you.